line by line, this is what this program does. Uh, the top section here is all just commenting, all this right here. You can tell it's been commented by using the forward slash asterisk, and then it goes all the way down to the asterisk uh, forward slash. That signifies all this is commenting. It's mainly telling you what this program is going to do, who created it, maybe what pins, and then a website where the, the tutorial for this uh, code is from, and just information on the program in general. Um, and if you look quickly, the first line here turns an LED on for one second, then off for one second repeatedly. And, uh, and here it tells you the LED is connected to digital pin 13. Um, here, and that's just the comments, so we come down here and we can start seeing the, the code uh, right here. Uh, we're uh, creating a variable, so int uh, for creating a variable. We're going to do LED pin 1, that's the name of our variable. You can technically uh, name it whatever you want. Uh, and we're going to set that equal to 13. Uh, and then we're going to do this void setup is a function. And this will run once when the uh, computer or when the program starts up. And inside this function, we're setting uh, the pin equal to LED pin, which is 13. And that's our output. So we're going to use that as an output. Pin 13 is our output. And then the rest of the code, this is the rest of the code. Uh, void loop, this is going to be our main function. It's going to loop forever until we press the reset button on the Arduino or pull the power out of it. And basically what it's doing, it's got four commands here. We've got digital write. So we're writing to a digital uh, output, which is going to be LED pin, which is 13. And we're saying that's a high. That just is telling us to turn the LED on. Then we're doing a delay for 1,000 uh, milliseconds, I believe, uh, which is equal to one second. If you wanted to change it to two seconds, you change that to 2,000. If you want to do it half a second, you set it to 500. And so from there on out, you can figure out the math to do the rest. Um, basically, lower, the smaller this number, the shorter the time the LED will be on for because the next command is digital write to pin 13, our LED pin, and we're saying it's low, which turns the light off. You can see the comments here telling you all this. So we're going to turn the light on, and the, the, originally it was one second, but we're going to turn the light on, leave it on for a half a second, turn it off, wait a second, and then loop again. So originally it was like this. So it's on for a second, then it's off for a second. And uh, if we change it once again to this, it will be on for a half a second and then off for a second. If we want to do it like this, we can do it on for a second, or sorry, on for a half a second, off for a half a second. And we'll do that as long as the Arduino has power, uh, it will do this loop. And that's it. That is your first tutorial your first application on controlling LEDs with the Arduino. So there we have it. We've finished our uh, first Arduino project using the example code of the blinking LED. I know it wasn't that exciting, but we got to start somewhere. Now, um, like I said, we're going to do a few more tutorials that are going to be slow like this. We're going to start working on the LEDs, modify that sample code we had a little bit, and maybe do some cool things with LEDs. And then we'll start getting into um, motors and we'll start getting into using your computer to send and receive information uh, to the Arduino board so you can control things like the LEDs and uh, motors from your computer. So I hope you stick with me and keep watching these tutorials I put them out and I hope you find them useful and, and uh, give the open source Arduino a try. Have a great day and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.